I do. Um, we are going to take a look at how to go around your XDC wallet on your Android phone. After you have downloaded your XDC wallet on Google Play Store for Android users, you can go ahead to open it. And one of the major two options you are going to see after entering the app is create a wallet or recover wallet. For those who have created a wallet, from either from the desktop, you have your private keys and the likes. For those who have not created, you can go ahead to create a new wallet. So guys, we are going to create a new wallet. After creating the new wallet, you confirm the pin, choose a four figure pin that you can easily remember and create a new wallet. So you have to understand that the wallet does not save your private keys. The first thing you are supposed to do after creating a new wallet is to export your private key and store it in a new, in a very safe place. And how do you do that? Press the three bars at the top left corner of your screen and press export private key. It will tell you to confirm your uh, authentication. If you have uh, switched on authentication to fingerprint before, you are going to confirm it using fingerprint. But because you have not uh, done that, you are going to use PIN 2255. So this is our private key. We are going to copy it. One of the best way to uh, safeguard your private key is to write it down in a paper. Any chance for you, any any way, if you if you save your private key online, it can be hacked. So it is advisable that you store it in an off offline um, storage where no damage can can get to it. So now we have exported our private key, our private key is safe. Then we go on to, how do we know our new um, XDC addresses? How do we receive or how do we send? You see some of the options below here, they contain some of the basic operations for your wallet. You have home where you see a list of your SDC coins SDC testnet token, SDCE, which is the Ethereum based SDC token. Then ETH, Ethereum, USDC, then USDC, which is USDT, which is Tether. So, how do we receive? Go to the option that has receipt, receive. Then you see your SDC address which begins with SDC 96CC. There you can copy and give to anybody that you want to receive XDC. There is a difference between XDC and XDCE. XDCE is Ethereum based XDC token. XDC is the mainnet token, mainnet coin. So you don't confuse both. SDC wallet addresses begins with XDC, but XDCE, which is Ethereum based, begins with OX. Please take note of that because it, it can cause a lot of um, havoc if you don't know the difference between these two. And what the, the, the beautiful part of uh, the future feature for the Android wallet is that you can use the same wallet address, the same wallet to receive your XDC coins and your XDC e tokens. So if you are to receive your XDC coins, go to XDC, look at the pointer, XDC, press your XDC, you will see your XDC address beginning with XDC 9CC. 
all, all you have to do is just to press copy and give to anybody that uh, or impute on any exchange with SDC coin that you want to receive it here. So the XDCT is the testnet token. You can request that from many of the developers of SD, uh, same thing. The XDCE is the Ethereum-based XDC token, which begins with OX. You see the major difference between all of the addresses is just the OX and then the XDC for SDC-based coin. So this is the OX, then your ETH wallet, then your USDC and your USDT. So I think we are good to go on that. If you want to send, if you want to send, just go downwards to some of the um, the, the send option, press send. Whatever you want to send, if it is XDC coins, press the option at the top, SDC. Select the address you want to uh, you want to send the XDC coins to. Please understand that the address you want to send XDC coins to should start with XDC, not any other any other uh, uh, prefix. It should start with XDC. There's a difference between both, and it it causes a lot of havoc when you when you when you send another form of address then the last one is your the number of uh, coins that you want to send you have to understand also that for xdc based uh, coins you don't need any other form of gas your gas is also your xdc coins so you don't need any other form of gas and that is one beautiful aspect of SDC, why are we advise everybody to have their own SDC coins? And now I think the team are doing a very good job of listing SDC coins on exchanges themselves. So when you send it, the gas or the transaction fee, a very minute transaction fee is going to be deducted out of your SDC wallet. If you are sending SDCE, now that that's where some technicality comes in. You need some gas in form of ETH. You need some Ethereum on this address OX9CC before you can send this um, this token. This is a token now. It is based on Ethereum blockchain. But XDC is a coin. It is, it is the main net coin for same thing. So XDC, you want whatever address you want to send to, then the amount you want to send, you can press continue and it will charge you based on the current um, uh, current uh, uh, gas fee for Ethereum wallet, for Ethereum network, sorry. So the next is your Ethereum whatever Ethereum, number of Ethereum you want to send, you can send, so far you have, then your USDC, then your USDT, which is Theta. So all of these are based on, this USDC uh, C2 is OX and USDT, I think you don't have any problem on that. So if you want to check any of the transactions you have made in the past few days or months, just go to transaction, you have your transaction history ready and to show you. Depends on, depending on uh, which token you have sent, it's either XDC, XD, XDCT, which is a uh, same thing, uh, testnet token, SDC, then SDCE, ETH, and the like. I believe uh, you understand some of this. Let's go back home. Here you have a lot of information about your token, your XDC, the USD price, and the likes and the likes. So if you go back to the options we have here, you can set your pin. If you want to change your pin here, enter your current pin. Then create new pin. Confirm new pin.
and that should be it. You have changed your pin. If you want to create a new token, create a stable coin, all of this will direct you back to uh, your browser so that you create some of these things. The beautiful aspect of some of these applications is that they are e very, very easy to create. So far, you have your master node. You can easily create a stable coin, a new token, even a bond, and the likes. You can set your default currency. Whatever currency you have, you can set your default currency using the option here. You can log into uh, the web wallet from uh, the Android wallet. What you need to know is that your private key is very important. Your, your private key is the proof that you are the owner of the wallet. If you lose your private key, there's no way XDC, any XDC team member will help you to recover it. These are, these, these are some of the songs they have been singing to our ears over and over again. Do not lose your private key. The other one is the difference between SDC, something mainnet coin, and XDCE. Let there be uh, clarity. XDC is the something mainnet coin, and its address carries the prefix XDC for, for, for clarity's sake, and the XDCE carries the OX because it is based on Ethereum. Thank you very much for the time. We mixed.